you have the power to be invisible, what would you do? I would watch people fuck. Oh, there's also do you pee in the shower? Sometimes I do. Yeah. Celebrity crushes. Okay, let's get to business. Angelina Jolie. You guys know. Megan Fox. Bella Hadid. I think you can see that I have a type. <laughs> um... Oh, the, uh, the Shane, Shane from the L word. <laughs> I think anyone that has seen the L word understands this statement. Shane from the L word. <sighs> yeah. Um. I don't really like soup, so, and I do enjoy cereal with milk, like oat milk, um, so I can't classify those two in the same category, I just can't do that to cereal. What do you think about while you're on the toilet? I mean, I'm like in and out, so, I, men usually, I don't know what it is, reading material or watching material. <laughs> I don't understand how that's in any way pleasant. But no, I don't have enough time to like think because I just go in and I get out. <laughs> but actually sometimes I look up at the sky because we have a skylight right above our toilet. So I look up Um, do you believe in time? I don't. Do you believe in gravity? Um, let me clarify the time first. Um, time, in my opinion, is, um, a straight up illusion. We've constructed, in my opinion again, we've constructed this time thing, like, here on Earth. Um, you know, the idea of weeks, months, hours, seconds, and none of that really exists, but it seems to work here, which is good. But in other dimensions and places and um, planets, I don't think that's a thing. So, gravity, yeah, yeah, I believe in gravity. Um, is the earth flat? No, I don't think it's flat. I was reading an article the other day that popped up on my phone that said why, like, why astronomers believe that our universe is flat? I don't understand that either. What do you mean? Because if it's like, why? <laughs> Why would it be flat? Where's, like, the top and bottom, like, ending layers? Where does it end? What's at the end? Why would it be flat? That does not make sense to me. At all. Yeah, I don't believe the astronomers on this one. Um, are you flaky? I'm the flakiest Very, very, very flaky. Very flaky. I sometimes don't go through with things. Um, I cancel on people. I disappear for months and months without messaging people back. <laughs> I procrastinate replying to texts. Um... Yeah, I'm horrible actually in that. 
so what's the weirdest smell you've ever smelled? I'm gonna replace the word weird with horrendous and it is cilantro it's a smell that I've said a million times and I'll say it a million more it shouldn't exist cilantro and stink bugs are Do you have a bad habit that you need to break? I have many because I'm not disciplined like at all. Um, I'm not disciplined, so um, let's say I need to change that like character flaw of lack of discipline. Um, I don't have any discipline. Um, yeah, so there's um, one bad habit that I need to break um, is eating so much sugar. mainly that and like oversleeping. I sleep a lot and sometimes I just wish I could be a morning person and wake up early and like get my stuff done but it's proving to be almost impossible for me. Impossible. Um, coolest fountain you've ever seen. seen fountains. I haven't seen a cool fountain. Tell me the coolest Wi-Fi name you've ever seen. Oh, I wish I could remember. There was one that was so funny. My friend told me, I think her neighbor had pretty cool for a Wi-Fi. I can remember the, uh, that song. Pretty, pretty fly for what I got do, do, do. Most conspiracy theories have at 
least like a grain of truth to them so um I don't know one that I find really interesting is the Berenstain Bear conspiracy you know where like you remember certain things being a certain way but you find out that they've actually been in a totally different way like recorded in history you know like the spelling of Berenstain Bears, for example, and where the, the name comes from. I think there's a few other ones. Um, I don't know, and like, I've watched so many videos on Flat Earth, because it's just like so bizarre to me. So, I don't know, tell me what you think. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, I've always had this, like, vision of living in a property in Hawaii. Um, and I think a lot of people had this brought on by Ellen Fisher. She's this, like, vegan lifestyle vlogger with, and she posts videos of her family. And they have a property on Maui. And it's, um, beautiful. And they have this, like, giant, um, uh, I'm sorry, the squeaking is my foot. I'm, like, I can't sit still. They have this giant property in Maui. you know, and breathing clean air and in nature, and they're able to explore, so that would be like this ideal thing that I see for my family. How plausible it is, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could have a version of it wherever you live. You'd have to go to Hawaii. But, um, yeah, that would be it, probably. At home, do you prefer warm or cool lighting? I prefer, um... Mm, yeah, warm. I don't know why it just took me so long to answer. Definitely warm. I hate the way, like, cool-toned LED lights feel. They just feel really cold and sterile. your best quality as a friend? I think it's not giving people pressure. Like, if my friends don't message me for whatever amount of time, I don't question them and, you know, attack them with like, where have you been? Why didn't you message me? <laughs> or like, um, you know, if I invite them out to go somewhere to do something, and I know, um, I don't know, they've had, like, not a great week or something, I'll be like, you know, I think it would be good for you if we went out and distracted you for a while, but no pressure, you know, like, I always give them of like canceling without them feeling bad because I really don't care like I'm uh, all of my friends that know me really well know that I need my time alone a lot of it and most of my friends are like that too so um, if I say no I never come up with like excuses I just say that I don't feel like it So, and like a friend recently, um, I was like, 
spamming her over the course of like a month just so I don't forget, you know, if something cool happens, I let my friends know and send them photos and text and she was like, oh my god, I'm sorry, I haven't messaged you it's been crazy I hope, I hope, um I was hoping you didn't feel bad I was like, come on <laughs> you know me by now like, it's, you cannot message me for a year world, you know? Seems really cute. Um, if you're given the opportunity to go off in another dimension, would you do it? Of course. God, I would, I wouldn't even ask any questions. I'd just hop on. Is there a color that pisses you off? say like like uh, that light baby yellow color <laughs> kind of like that actually like a, a baby yellow like a lemon cream yellow is that what it is it's not even
is there a body part that you'd like to add or take away? I don't think. Oh, maybe the belly button. I find belly buttons extremely gross and weird. I don't like belly buttons. Um. What is the strangest food you've ever had? I'm not very adventurous when it comes to food at all. Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's anything strange. Strange. Cold yogurt soup, like a kroshka, like tarator. Or I recently learned that you can eat the orange flowers on a zucchini and you can like fry them and stuff them. They're amazing. Amazing. Because smell freshly baked bread. Laundry drying outside on a sunny day. And again, people with backyards understand this. Or freshly cut grass. Name something that would be incredibly difficult for you to give up. Chocolate. So, um, have it like having the freedom to wake up when I want. I don't do well with waking up early and alarms. It's a nightmare to be around me. Um, if you could only take one item. I don't want to name any technology because I feel like that's a really boring answer. I feel like I would take uh, sunscreen. <laughs> sunscreen. Because I want to age gracefully. Even if no one's there to see me, I don't want sun damage because I'm tr assuming it's a tropical island. So I really don't want sun damage. If I could take I would also take my retinol and if I was able to take um a human I would say my child that I don't yet have but if I did it would be my child <laughs> beach or mountains I want to say beach I love the beach I love it so much water, I love sun, I love sand, I love heat, I love lack of clothing. <laughs> I hate winter for that reason. I hate being clothed. And, um, um, I want to say, yeah. Yeah, beaches. Mountains are nice, too. makes me really bloated, but I like beer, I like the taste and the texture, but I can't do with the bloating. Negroni or Moscow Mule? Negroni. I put this a uh, question in because I just love Negroni so much. Um, okay. Pancakes, French toast, crepes, or waffles? I'm going to put waffles first. Waffles first, they're my favorite. Then I'm gonna put uh, grapes, and then I'm gonna put French toast, and then I'm gonna put pancakes last because I don't like pancakes. I think they're useless, but I really love um, French toast a lot. What is the scent? smell of the Berlin underground, like their metro. It's such a weird smell. And it's such like a 
a European smell and it's in my brain and I can't get it out and it makes me want to go back but the metro has such a specific smell it's like fried food and like old building old European building smell combined it's so weird um, if you've been there, you live there you know, you know what I mean and I love it, it's just Thank you so much.